Time for a beer, guys. What do you think? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, I still got a couple of these winter beers out there. Like I said, I told you I was going to get the uh, the old beers and the IPA, old IPAs. And uh, I'm going to get rid of the Christmas beers too. And there's a couple of them in there. So over the next week or two, we're going to still kind of clean house and get ready for the new year and the new do. <laughs> guys, this is Goose Island's Christmas Ale 2012. This was bottled on 9-12-12. I mean, that's all you need right there. They got the, uh, they got the, 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 the month, the date, and the year right there. That's all you need. No code. Thumbs up. Good sign for that. I mean, what's up with the Julian code? Why, why do we have to remember something like that? Why does the average person need to remember any kind of code? I mean, uh, uh, to me, it's their benefit to have this on there. I mean, it's the people that sell the beer, the shop owners, the craft beer store owners, it's their benefit to have it on there. Uh, the people that are making it, I mean, it's win-win for everybody. Consumer, retailer, producer. Uh, codes suck. So, if you're not doing that, you're wasting your time as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to learn a code, try to figure out what your date is on your beer like Sierra Nevada does. I mean, these are good beer companies. I love them, but I hate them because they don't do this. So, that being said, I'm off the soapbox, guys. This is a, uh, a very nice beer. I have had this beer before. I bought a four-pack of it. I think this is the only one I've got left. And I decided I needed to review it because uh, I hadn't before. And uh, this one's actually made in Chicago. This is not one of the New York... Uh, uh, Goose Island beer, so this uh, this is uh, going to be a treat. Uh, very nice, uh, well-made beer. 7.3 ABV on this, I think is what it says. Uh, uh, I thought it was on there. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, 7.3 by volume. Uh, Rate beer. Rate beer has it as 6.2, so it's evidently it's varying from year to year on this one. Very nice though. The biggest, I want to tell you, the best part of this beer is it comes in a four pack. And guess how much it was? $3.99. That's, that's less than a dollar a bottle. 7.3% alcohol and a good beer on top of that from Goose Island. Wow, wow, wow. Win, win, win. Uh, got all the information you need out right on the bottle. Dollar pop. You can't buy Budweiser for that. My gosh. Get on with this show. All right. Guys, this, uh, this beer is winter availability, American brown ale, food pairing, cuisine is barbecue, the cheeses are earthy, camembert, Latina, uh, the nutty cheeses, Asiago, Colby, even Parmesan goes with it, and the meat for this is beef, glassware, pint, Becker, Stein, the mug, side down, I got some pint glass, and uh, it's 7.3%, it's going to sell her for a little while. Uh, there's some spice in the stuff of this beer, and there is a, a hot presence, so that may diminish it. It'll probably get a little sweeter, a little maltier down the road, but it's a malty beer to start with. And they make it every year, so uh, unless you just, for a dollar a pop, man, you could <laughs> you could get a case of this and, and store some of it. So guys, let's get the cap off of this bad boy. And let me describe to you what I think is in this. All right, into the glass. Guys, I appreciate all the comments, all the positive comments about my my new do my new color uh, like I said I did this for my mother and uh, she's already seen it uh, she couldn't wait till my birthday she, she called and came by the shop so uh, she's very well pleased and, and happy that I've done it and like I said guys I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it this way I may let it grow right back out I don't know a little dark for my taste after looking at that white hair for 20 years so guys over to the light it is kind of murky uh, not real clear. Uh, I cannot see the light bulb. I can see light through it. It's a very orangey tangerine bronze reddish color. But 
I get the light tinges around the outside, but it's kind of kind of murky in the center there. So uh, looks like a winter warmer, doesn't it? It really does. It's a spiced ale. They call it a brown American brown ale. It's got a lot of, a lot of spices going on there. I think though, let's get a nose on it. I get a lot of sweet caramel toffee. I'm getting some spiciness in there too, and there is a hot presence. There is a, there is a, I don't want to say citrusy, but there is a, it's like orange or lemony. It smells very good. Uh, it's almost a, a brown sugar smell to it too. It smells very nice. Cheers, everybody. Happy New Year. Caramel, toffee, there is a nuttiness there. There is a little alcohol. It's not a hidden super wheel. This is fairly big beer. First beer of the day, too, so it's, it, these big beers stand out to me when I don't have a, a 5 or 6 percent. I mean, start right off with a 7 or 8 percent beer. Definitely got the toffee and the caramel. A little dark fruit, maybe some raisins in there. Or figs or something. Very pleasant. After I had one, I bought the four pack and I had my first one. I was looking at it and going, wow, this is awesome. Should have bought more. Normally I just buy one beer and I went ahead and bought four. Of course, you couldn't go wrong. For a dollar, a dollar piece. And once I found out they were from Chicago and had to date on them and not New York, uh, I may, I may have to go back and get some more of these guys. It's very tasty. It's an awesome beer. This is right out of the fridge. I don't know what else you would want in, 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 a, in a Christmas beer. With the spiciness and, and, and the, uh, the, the higher alcohol, 7.3. A nice sipper for a cold day. It's pretty chilly out there. The wind's blowing. Let's warm up next week, though. So We might get back into some IPAs and stuff. It gets up to 55 to 60 degrees again. But... Only about 35 out there, so this is pretty tasty. We're going to let the other half taste it, see what you think, so I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left in here. I went to their website, and they got it listed here as a brown ale, 7.3. The, the IBUs changes year to year. Uh, the color is chocolate. The hops changes year to year. The malt's pale, Munich, and caramel. The serving suggestion is the nonic for the glass. The food pairing, for, oh, this is off their website. Ham, turkey, and lamb, cheese, aged, gouda, dry, and jack. Celery notes, 180 days is what they got. They recommend here. Uh, going over to Rape Beer, they they have it listed as a Belgian, uh, especially Belgian malts create deep garnet color, rich uh, European flavor, and a classic Christmas ale. Uh, generous amounts of crystal hops, crystal hops adds that extra spicy aroma. Uh, perfect for a wintry night. Uh, Two-time gold medal winner in the World Beer Championship. The original Goose Island Ale says here was 5.7. There was no 2010 vintage. The 2011 vintage saw a bump to 6.2. And this one is 7.3 for 2012, guys. So, pretty tasty. I mean, it's got a lot going on. A lot of spices. Uh, very nice on a, on, a, on a cool Christmas or winter evening. Very nice here in the first of the year here, 2013. Final chug, guys. Very pleasant. But it, uh, the alcohol is not hidden. As it's warmed up, it's, it's definitely more more present there, but it's got a nice spiciness and, and just enough bitterness to make it tasty, so uh, definitely worth having in the winter time. So, if you get this or you see this, uh, pick it up. I mean, especially if you can pick it up for three ninety nine for a four pack. That's an awesome price. You don't see a beer this good at that price very often. So, if you see it and you get lucky enough to pick it up that price, or if you live around uh, the area here, you might want to check it out. I picked it up at Kroger's for three ninety nine. believe it or not, guys. Uh, this is a tasty beer, guys. Got all the information on it you need. Uh, I'm going to give it to 8. It's A-. minus. It's, it's a pretty tasty beer. Uh, Rate beer, uh, I mean, Beer Advocate has 86, which is in their good range. And Rate beer comes up with 92 overall and 96 in the style. So, 
good numbers there also. So I kind of agree. It's it's an eight beer. Uh, I got it at the bottom end of the A scale. It could very easily have been a nine, but I think the alcohol is just a little too too strong for me. Uh, it's more present there, so I think it could be hidden just a little bit better than it is. So, that being said, give me some comments back on this one, guys, and let's go look in the fridge tomorrow. See everybody then.